but by far the newest sensation was moving pictures. In 1891, Thomas Edison, already world famous for the light bulb and phonograph, exhibited the kinetoscope, a box with a peephole and a crank that rolled a few seconds of moving images. Soon these kinetoscope parlors enthralled viewers who paid pennies to see Fred Ott sneeze, a ballerina, or a kiss. By 1903, Edison had produced over 300 of these short films. At the same time in France, the Lumiere brothers had thrown a kinetoscope image onto a large screen, arguably the first picture show. Georges Melier, a Paris magician, broke new ground with the discovery of the special effect. Melier's experimentation with these special effects led him to produce his most famous film, A Trip to the Moon, in 1902, complete with moon girls and a rocket ship. In 1903, Edison produced the first Western, with 12 minutes of chases, gun battles, and a villain's death. The ending, with Justice S. Barnes firing his sixth gun directly at the audience, caused some viewers to faint. Although in its infancy, the picture show's novelty offered another attraction to audiences interested in experiencing a new form of entertainment. We went down to the theater. The public clamored for more movies and places to see them. By 1905, the first Nickelodeon opened, a tiny dark room where for a nickel, you watched a few minutes of melodrama featuring endangered maidens, gallant heroes, and leering villains. So Saturday night. Uh, my family went to every, I think they never missed a Saturday night. And then they'd go out someplace to a, well, it only cost me a nickel. I used to sometimes take a girl with me. Nearly $100 million to see them.